what's up YouTube community, SangDadGT here. Uh, I know in the last couple of videos I said I was going to slow down on some mods, but um, I picked up one of my next mods for pretty cheap, uh, so I wanted to uh, go ahead and open those and try and install those here in the next uh, hour or so. I don't think it'll take so long. Um, so let me set the camera down, take a look at what, what we have here. Nothing too crazy, uh, but something I definitely wanted to do, and I was on the fence about how I wanted to do this. Uh, there's a couple different methods, and it'll make sense once I get this opened. I did order these guys, once you see them, uh, these are from eBay. You can see that they're nicely wrapped here. Voila, we have few extractors. Um, so I was on the fence of whether I wanted to uh, do like a plasti dip on mine, uh, like a gloss black plasti dip. Could have had them wrapped, uh, but by the time you either pay for the wrap or you pay for the plasti dip, uh, it was really just better off to buy a set of these guys right here. Um, so these are you know, OEM shadow black ones, and um, they were $62 uh, shipped, not too bad. Uh, plus that way I can actually still keep my stock ones um, in case I ever want to switch back. Uh, I am planning on doing a ceramic coat um, so I can get both of them ceramic coated, and um, I just thought this was probably the best route to go, so I'm going to clean these up, maybe give them a little bit of a polish, and um, see if I can get them installed here pretty quickly. Alright, so I just finished polishing up <coughs> excuse me, the, um, the heat extractors. Uh, so I actually, uh, and I'll put a, a card into this video, uh, but I did a review on my previous car, which is a 2010 Ford Fusion Sport, and it's a black car. So I had a couple of these um, black box um, by Turtle Wax. Um, it's like a black, it's like a four stage black wax process that comes with, uh, fills in different chips and stuff like that. Um, but it actually does a really, really good job. So I do recommend this if you have a black car. Um, but it takes like four to six hours to do one of these. So it's a really long process. Uh, so I do recommend if you're going to do it, uh, maybe use some gloves because it will get black crap all over the place. Um, but I just did it real quickly. Uh, oh, and I usually would use an orbital sander, or not an orbital sander, sorry, an orbital buffer. Uh, but I just did these by hand. So it took me, I don't know, five minutes to do these. Uh, but it looks really, really good. Nice and shiny. So now I have them all cleaned up. We can put them on the car. All right, guys. So... We've got the hood, uh, hood up, lights installed. I'm in my garage, it's pouring outside, so not the greatest weather to be outside. Um, but there are, I believe, four bolts on each hood extractor, and then there's um, kind of some push tabs that are holding the uh, insulation here on, under, under the hood. So I have a kind of like a tab puller here that I'm going to see if I can get up in here and just pull those out. I think you only need to loosen this one. And this one really to be able to get to it because this thing is pretty strong. Um, so let's see if we can get this thing out. Okay, so there is one over here I think I need to take out as well. You can see that I can access them. So there's four bolts in there. I don't know what size they are yet. Uh, I'll put the link, or I'll put a little title in, in the video. Uh, so I just need to unscrew those, and I'm going to assume they pop out. Okay, so now that we have the screws uninstalled, 
I believe we're going to need to lower the hood. Pop it out. So I don't know if you can see right here, it does say left hand on here, so you just want to make sure, and there's a big L right there, so you just want to make sure you get the same one on the other side. I always find it a good idea just to compare, um, to make sure nothing's missing on them. When you buy stuff online, which this one looks like it's good, so we'll just snap it right back in. Pretty simple. Now we'll just tighten it back up. Okay, once you uh, <clears throat> tighten the bolts down, um, I wouldn't do it super, super tight. I would definitely use hand tools um, rather than like a, a, a drill. Uh, just take your two little push tabs, wherever you took them out, and push those back in, and then whoop, go to the other side. All right, I'm not going to video doing the second side. I think you kind of get the gist. Um, again, there's uh, just two little push pins to pull out uh, four three-eighths bolts uh, to take off, and then you just uh, pry from the top. It'll make a loud pop, which is okay. There's a clip on it um, that makes that pop noise. And then when you tighten it back down, eventually you'll hear it re-clip back into place. Uh, and then uh, I think it really looks really good. I think you can probably see from back here. I'm sorry, the lighting's probably... Let me move this light here out of the way. And my lighting in the garage is not so great. So you can see that compared to the stock blue. All right, so I did get the um, hood vents installed yesterday. Uh, I did my little outro and realized I somehow only took pictures instead of videos. Uh, so it's not necessarily a uh, sunny day out today. Uh, but it is overcast and I can actually get outside because it's not raining to show you what the outcome looks like. You can see they're nice. They look really, really good. Kind of ties in my whole theme I'm really going with of a mix of, um, you know, it's a Velocity Blue, so a mix of the Velocity Blue with uh, gloss blacks, you know, and, uh, and I'll add a card. I did uh, recently actually just uploaded the front grill and um, rear emblem installs uh, but you can see it just kind of all ties together especially with the black in the headlights uh, and I've said it several times that um, I plan on installing the dial dynamics um, LED boards in here at some point um, and when I do that and I actually have a spare set of headlights that I might um, do some experimenting with. Um, I may see if I can paint this shroud um, and even these chrome pieces here, uh, Velocity Blue. Uh, again, just to really make the car stand out without doing nothing, something too crazy. Um, but I think that would look really, really good. So just some different thoughts that I have going on in my mind. Um, but 
you know, this video was on um, heat extractors, hood vents, whatever you want to call them here. It's a very simple process, um, 15 minutes tops. You Again, you only need a 3 ace um, bit for, for your uh, ratchet, um, and that takes care of it. Anyway, uh, thanks again for tuning in. Um, subscribe, like the video, check out some of my other videos. Uh, I keep saying I'm going to take a break, but... You know, if you're anything like me, the modding never ends. So appreciate it. Peace out.